Good evening, City Church. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I've just uh, really been thinking about uh, Caleb's sermon uh, this past Sunday, and uh, especially the end of uh, the end of it, talking about uh, who we are in Christ. And uh, I think we get uh, we all get a barrage of um, things thrown at us that, that uh, try to tell us who we are, um, whether it be uh, through social media, through um, old relationships, past experiences, um, all kinds of different things that uh, try to tell us who we are. Um, and uh, uh, maybe dictate uh, decisions we make. And um, so I was just really thinking about uh, what Christ says about us and uh, was just doing a little reading about that. And so I came up with a, just a few things. Uh, a lot of them that I, uh, that I like um, come out of uh, John and uh, Romans. Um, I mean, the first one, I, I am a child of God. It comes from John 1.12. Um, uh, the other one that I like is, um, I am the branch of the true vine and the conduit of Christ's life. And... Uh, I am the true vine of my, and my father is the gardener. I am the vine, and you are the branches. The one who remains in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. Because apart from me, you can accomplish nothing. Apart from him, we can accomplish nothing. I'm a friend of Jesus. I have been justified and redeemed. It says in 3, 324 in Romans. Uh, my old self was crucified with Christ. I am no longer a slave to sin. I will not be condemned by God. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. That's in Romans 8.1. I have been set free from the law of sin and death. That's Romans 8.2. I have been accepted by Christ. The list goes on and on and on. So I would just encourage you all to um, maybe start listening more to what Christ says about you um, and who you are rather than what the world says about you and who you are. Um, just know that uh, you are loved, you are blessed, and you are a, a, a blessing. And uh, I hope you all have a great week. Hope to see you soon. Good night.